Hey YouTube, this is Mindtech. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be reviewing my number one application for Mac OS, which is called Rectangle. And this application allows you to change the position of your windows just like you're using the Windows operating system. One of the biggest things I struggled with moving from Windows to Mac OS was window management because I really loved being able to siphon off different areas of my screen to different windows. I was very angry to find that most applications that seem to provide solutions to this problem or paid applications and I just wasn't really willing to fork out that money for them. So after doing some research I found Rectangle. It's free, open source, and it works incredibly well so without any further ado let's get right into it. So first, if you want to install Rectangle, you have to go to the URL rectangleapp.com and it gives you a direct download link to the application. You can also go to their GitHub page so you can review over the source code. And if you look at their README, they also show you how to install it with Brew. This is still in active development, even though if you look at the actual version of Rectangle, it's still on version 0.48. And once you've downloaded the app, it will work automatically. You don't have to set up any keyboard shortcuts or any actions. If you actually look at the little thing up in the status bar, you can see all the different commands that it has pre-programmed in. If I take this files application and I push it off right to the right side of the screen, as you can see it resizes just like it would in Windows. I can also push that up to the top and I can also make it so that I have quadrants. You can switch between the applications just as you normally would. Now taking applications out of the state, the behavior is kind of spotty. In Windows, the normal behavior would be for the application to return to its normal size, but as you can see with VS Code, it just maintained that same size. If I make it even smaller here and then move it out though, as you can see, it did return to the size that it was before, so it's not that consistent. Another quirk that I found is the behavior in Mac OS. If you push really quickly up to the top, it'll bring you to mission control. A lot of the time I'm just trying to maximize an application, bring it up too much, and then I kind of mess it up. What's really nice about Rectangle is that you can control all of these with keyboard shortcuts. So if I press control option and then any of the arrow keys, as you can see, the applications will start going to the different sides of the screen. And if you don't know any of these hotkeys, you can always click on the icon right up at the top and you can view all the hotkeys denoted right here. If I wanted to do the center third of the screen, I'd have to press Control, Option, and F. So Control, Option, F, it will do it right there. This gives you a lot of very precise precision and precision that quite frankly isn't present with an application like Windows Power Toys. You can do it in fourths, so you can get kind of a really small window. I can also do it in sixth, and I can also do just a command to make it larger or just a bit smaller, you know, just get to the needs that you want. And I can also do a command to restore the original position. Let's set it at this size here. If I push it off to the side, now music looks like this. Click on restore, so you can see it returns to that normal size. Now, the last thing I wanted to go over very quickly are the preferences. This does allow you to customize every single hotkey as you would expect. They have it all listed out here very nicely. Let's say I wanted to have a center half hotkey. Key. All I have to do is press the key that I want. So I'll do command option T. Uh, looks like that one's already set. There is a setting that you can change to ignore existing hotkeys. So if I actually press that there to remove keyboard shortcut restrictions and then set that, then that will work correctly. I'll just try to set one that's not set. So control option J. If I do that to Visual Studio, as you can see, that new shortcut is enabled. And you can also go into the settings and enable options like launch at start so I always have it always open when the computer starts up. You can hide the menu bar icon, even though I really don't recommend this unless you have all these hotkeys memorized. The one that I found interesting is that you can also leave a gap between windows. So if I do that leave a gap option, it is just barely making it full screen, but it is not entirely full screen. For some users, you might prefer this option. And finally, if you really want to, you can also import and export schemas. So let's say your friend, you know, set up their rectangle the way that they really like it. You can import their schemas into your rectangle application.
animation. Now, right before I end up, I do want to say there are a few more quirks. So as I was demoing right now, I tried to put OBS to the left side of the screen, but it decided to take up a bit more space than it needed. This is something that I've seen all the time with third-party apps in Windows also. But by and large, for a free application that is open source, that is so easy to use, Rectangle has just worked brilliantly. I've been using it for months, and it honestly really kind of changed the way that I use the Mac, and I was just really happy to find an app that replaced AeroSnap because I use that feature all the time on my desktop computer. So with that said, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll catch you all in the next video, hopefully.